Welcome to this session, everybody. My name is Paul. I am president of CandleCharts.com and joining me here is Steve Nissen, CEO and founder of CandleCharts.com. And we are both very excited to talk about a brand new program, brand new software version called Nissen Candle Scanner uh, that works specifically on the TradingView platform. Uh, the flow of this session is going to be Steve is going to come in right now and talk about the software itself, uh, a little bit of the background of it, why Steve actually created Nissan Candle Scanner, and why we're moving, uh, we're adding the platform onto TradingView. Uh, and then after Steve's done, I'm going to come in and do a quick demo. Um, I'm going to show. Uh, what it's capable of doing, or at least part of what it's capable of doing. And then we're going to have a very special offer for you to be literally the first to ever own Nissan Candle Scanner on TradingView. So uh, Steve Nissen has been teaching candles and, and we're helping people around the globe for decades. Don't want to age you, Steve, but it's been decades. And um, it's really exciting to see all of that knowledge and all that experience come to fruition here for a lot of people around the globe to be able to use Candle Scanner on TradingView. So Steve, I'm going to hand it over to you and then I will be back in. Steve? Thank you, Paul. Yes, yeah, we're uh, all excited to share with you the Nissan Candle Scanner. Many of you may be familiar with it, but the really exciting part is it now works in TradingView and I'll go over the essentials of what TradingView is and some of the uh, preliminary insights or basic insights on how to quickly harness the power of NCS for trading view. And then as Paul mentioned, he'll get on to do actually uh, views of the trading view. He'll actually have it uh, live. So before we begin, uh, oh, a caveat, just remind you that there's a risk of loss of trading pretty much in any market in any time frame. And you can go to this link here to read the full disclosure. So this is our first time ever, and it's been years since we ra rolled out something brand new um, we've had nuances of some of our prior products. We tweaked them a little bit, but this is really brand new. So I want to congratulate you all for attending live, that is uh, at least virtually, or watching the recording because you're going to be the very first to be able to harness the power of Nissan Candle Scanner for Trading View. Now, let me go over again very briefly what Trading View is. Paul's going to go into some uh, more details, but the most exciting features the trading view, trading view besides being free, we all love free, is that it's accessible on any internet or Wi-Fi device. Essentially anywhere you can get internet or Wi-Fi or any device uh, that includes uh, cell phones, tablets, computers, this gives you access to pretty, mar pretty much any market in any time frame. So uh, that's essentially what trading view is. Uh, you don't have to download anything, it's just uh, you know, you just go to a link and that's it. And actually it's, you know, you can have an app and so forth. And we, some of you may be familiar with Nissan Candle Scanner, but Nissan Candle Scanner uh, I've designed because we've been through this. How many hours, all of us, does it take you to find a great trade setup? Is it an hour, two hours, three hours, or even more than three hours? Because remember, yeah, you know, some of us may be looking at maybe 10 or 12 markets, but there's a universe of markets out there that present great trading opportunities that we don't have the time or resources to find. I mean, who, who can look, for example, through the S&P 500? So what I did was design software, and I actually worked with a programmer uh, for many, many uh, weeks and months to design software that could uh, accurately find my favorite candle signal. And that's what Nissan Candle Scanner is. It's going to let you find potential trade candidates in seconds. And by the way, I want to thank the Adams family for loaning me the thing on the right side here. Uh, and so what the idea is, it's by finding the candle, the correct candlestick signals, because they were defined by myself, uh, you can then have potential trade setups based on the candle signals. So. Let me show you an example here or give you some feedback. Candlesticks is your trading edge, candle scanner, priceless. So now that we've briefly gone over what trading view is, briefly gone over what Nissan Candle Scanner is, let's see why we're so excited about NCS 
And that's how we breathe the Ignis and Candle Scanner for Trading View. I mentioned before, there's nothing to download for either Trading View or Ignis and Candle Scanner. Okay, any you can use on any internet device. Works in any market in any time frame, and will work. Uh, NCS will work on the free version of Trading View. Trading View also has premium versions. Paul will go a little bit into that, but keep in mind that the basics here that I'm going to be going over works in the free uh, version. And as just mentioned, Paul's going to discuss the additional benefits for those who want to spend a little extra each month to have the premium versions of and uh, of Trading View. Because that actually gives you a little bit more power to harness and uh, NCS. You're going to get all the same signals, but you have a lot more flexibility with the premium version. But Paul will go into that. So let's look at using Nissan Candle Scanner. Just touching on the essentials, free with the free Trading View platform. And remember, the data is also free. So first, we're going to be looking at highlighting. And what highlighting will do is you could pull up any market in any time frame, and it's going to highlight my favorite. Uh, I have 28 favorite candlestick signals, and you could highlight which ones you want it on and off, and I'll show that in a little bit. But let me give you just a, a little sample of what this could do for you. So many of you may f be familiar with Windows. I just want to show you an example uh, with a real candlestick signal. Uh, rising window is a gap higher. That's what we call in the West, a gap in candlesticks is a window. And we know or, or should know, at least with the essentials, Familiar, who are familiar with essentials, that a rising window is a support zone and a falling window is a resistance zone, with the whole window as support and the whole falling window as resistance. Now, large windows are really easy to see. You pull up a chart, boom, you'll see a window. So here, for example, uh, this is NCS. This happens to be Apple, and this happens to be a daily chart. And we could, we don't really need NCS to show us as a falling window. We could visually see. But how about something like this? How many of us would have missed this falling window? Okay, by the way, there's a bearish engulfing pattern. You see the red real body wrapping around the green real body. And what I did here is just highlighted the specific candle signals I was interested in. So you could have all the candlestick signals on here, but these are specific ones that I chose. I'll show you what a, the layout looks like to pick the candlestick signals you want. So here we very much might have missed a falling window. So we had a, a bearish engulfing pattern. We should know a bearish engulfing pattern becomes resistance. And one of the things you could actually do, and I'll show you on the slide later, uh, once NCS recognized the bearish engulfing pattern, you could set up a, a price alert within TradingView. So with the theory that the bearish engulfing pattern becomes resistance, you could set up a price alert. Uh, I cut off by mistake the, the prices here. So let's say it's 192. You set up a price alert. if uh, Apple gets anywhere one, near 192 to be alerted. You'd be alerted here, maybe even here. You'd be alert, so you'd be alerted here. And look what happened the next session, a falling window. So you had a couple of things going on, a bearish engulfing pattern, a warning that the rally was stalling, a little rally here. Uh, we obviously had a bigger rally before that. It, we now have a resistance area. That's how you could use candles, resistance and confirmation of the resistance with the falling window. And we would have missed the falling window without NCS. I think I would have missed it. Now look, the other, other side here, when I mean the other side, I mean a rising window. I think we could all see this as a rising window, right? But how many of us would know this is a rising window? It could be a one cent difference between the high here and the low here. It's still a rising window. So we would say to ourselves, oh, okay, the market broke support under the rising window. It might come down to the lows here, but NCS picked up a small rising window. So we'd say, okay, it broke the first support level, Apple. What's the next support area? Is it here? No, it's the rising window here. And look what happened. So if you were looking for a buying opportunity uh, on the break of support with the rising window here, like over here, you might be waiting for here. Instead, you would have been alerted to uh, look out for potential support right over here. And you see what happened over here. Okay. And those are the windows I talked about. I had mentioned using alerts, price alerts within TradingView. So we talked about in the prior slide the bearish engulfing pattern as resistance. Okay. Here we have a bullish engulfing pattern. And so you would have been alerted on this session over here. Again, I, I look at mainly daily charts. Some of you may look at intraday or weekly. Uh, 
But let's say, you know, you're alerted here on the bullish engulfing pattern, but you figured um, you may have missed the move. You don't want to buy up here. So what you could do is set up a price alert anywhere near 67. This happens to be futures. And I try to give a broad um, spectrum of market. So we did an equity. I'm looking at a four, uh, futures market. I might have a Forex. I don't remember. Um, so you set up a price alert anytime crude gets near 67 to let you know. Look at this. You would have been alerted here. Now this would have been a piercing pattern. I didn't turn on. I didn't turn on to be alerted to the piercing pattern. I just wanted to focus on the bullish engulfing pattern. You would have been alerted as a hammer. But again, I wanted to focus on this. So all these times you would have gotten multiple alerts within trading view, thanks to the ability to say, okay, it's a bullish engulfing pattern. I know it's a correct bullish engulfing pattern because Steve defined it. He, and not only do we define it by the combination of candle lines, we also take trend into account. Remember, bullish engulfing patterns have to come after a downtrend, so we have proprietary ways of gauging a downtrend. So plenty of opportunity to consider to buy, and maybe we're taking profits here on this bearish engulfing pattern. Again, I only had the bullish engulfing pattern I led. So, so many ways to use this and candle scanner in conjunction with, with trading view. Okay, these are all the opportunities you would have gotten. And what is, uh, I mean, potentially if you sold it here, it's been a while since I traded futures. What is it? Each chick is $10 in crude. Uh, so this went from, you know, from 67 to $77. All right. So, you know, you could do the math and it's all theoretical. Uh, now, scanning. So we looked at highlighting. And just to give you a sense of what the highlighting is, and then I'll get into scanning. So I don't have them all here, but what you're going to see, and Paul will show you this, is we have all 28 candlestick signals. Okay, I just copied, um, uh, did a screenshot of some of, the, some of them just to give you a sense because I want to go through yes, no, and all that. But you just highlight what you want. Yes, no, strict. I'll go through that in a second. And what you're going to do is Oh, and I should mention also, let me go back here. So you see, you see it says bullish engulfing pattern, but when you have a lot of candlestick signals highlighted, you know, this might be a bearish counterattack, uh, this might be a piercing pattern, you may have candlestick signals close to one another. And what might happen is that the full names of the candlestick signals might tend to overlap. So you do have the option of abbreviating the candlestick signals. All right, and one of the bonuses will be a little crib sheet on what the abbreviations are for each signal. So I want to give you give you uh, a sense of that. So scanning, what you're going to do is you pick your favorite candlestick signals, okay? And you could pick, for example, no sash. Uh, I did a falling window for yes, and beside yes and no, you have an option for strict criteria candle signals, and what that is. We have defined the candlestick signals and made them, gave them a tighter definition. Like, for example, a hammer, you could have a black real body, which means that the close is under the opening, but it would still be a hammer as long as the lower shadow is twice the of the real body. But what I've done is interpret the candlestick signals to give them a greater likelihood of that signal working out. So we have strict candlestick signals for these. Um, for these. So for example, a strict, uh, I don't have it here, a strict hammer would have a white real body. And the reason for that is, think about it, a black real body means the close is under the opening. What would a white real body mean? The close is at or near the opening, correct? So uh, you have the option for strict as well. And so the way that the scanning would work is under the list of all the candlestick signals that you decide to highlight, yes, no, or strict, you're going to have the ability to pick any chart in any time frame. So here's what I have on mine, for example. All right, so I have Apple here. Uh, I have it as a one hour chart, Nifty, and I did this for overseas for those in the Indian markets, a so one week, the S&P, a daily, Forex, 30 minute, uh, NASDAQ, and I want to show you this, is, when you go here, and again, Paul will show you this. You have a drop down. So you could have charts here, and I forgot the number of charts. Paul will mention it for the free version. The premium version, you get a lot more charts. So Paul will go over that.
but you have the ability of picking pretty much any market in any time frame and then whatever candlestick signals you have highlighted you're going to be alerted in real time so first of all let me go back let me give you here first of all we're going to recognize the correct signal candlestick signals so we know there's a bullish engulfing pattern correct of course the green candle wrapped around red real bodies there's a bearish engulfing pattern now isn't this a green real body wrapping around a red real body why isn't this a bullish engulfing pattern remember I said what I said about a proprietary indicator that we have to take into account not only the combination of candlestick lines but the trend so let those who think that a green wrapping around a red is a bullish engulfing pattern only to have this happen so first of all you're going to be alerted to correct candlestick signals that's really important and what's going to happen is you're going to get real-time alerts based on what I showed you before you pick any market any time frame with any of my 28 candlestick signals and these are the options to be alerted you can have it in an app you can have a pop-up it could play music you, you, you even have different sounds uh, to play if you want so let's see how this would work so here we have a rising window once again within trading view you could set up a price alert to let you know anytime in this case Tesla a daily chart gets anywhere within this rising window remember the whole rising window and this line probably should have, should have been up here becomes support so days go by you know you know you forget about Tesla but you still have the alert in so whatever this is January February March April and then in May you get an alert that your daily chart in Tesla has a piercing pattern right at the support area okay that it to me I, one of the simple things I love doing is looking for candle signals at horizontal support or resistance it's my it's the old kiss principle keep it simple stupid that's what I one of the main things I do to set up a trade and then do the trade assuming you know it's a good risk reward so you would have forgotten about the alert you had it in the background running within uh, trading view you you knew there was a support area thanks to NCS you would have been alerted you could buy here and you would set a stop me person remember the whole rising window of support if you really risk oriented you could actually set a, set a stop under the low of the piercing pattern because the piercing pattern should be support if you want to get a little bit more leeway uh, and again the rising window the top of the wind the bottom of the window should be here you set a stop under here so this is a great way to find golden opportunities there's no way you'd be able to find this even if you were trading tester i doubt after a few months you'd be looking at the chart on a daily basis you would have to say okay i'm you know i'm done but here it's running in the background thanks to the power of computers and ncs and trading view now very important reminder okay, let me say again this is really important these are not buy and sell signals this little up arrow here uh, on this piercing pattern doesn't mean you buy. It just says this is a bullish candlestick si stick signal. Whether you buy or not, personally, what I do is see if it confirms horizontal support and resistance. If it's a good risk reward, those are the main things I look I look at. But it doesn't mean to buy. It just gives you an opportunity, an alert, for you to do a little bit more detailed analysis. I would always suggest adding Western technicals like a support area or whatever you like looking at retracements whatever it is so this and candle scanner does not generate automatic buy and sell signals okay it'll give you potential setups and trades to avoid and this is key because who has the time to look at you know hundreds of markets or even 30 markets but NCS will do that for you automatically so NCS trading view the perfect combination now to help you get to speed up to speed very very quickly we've added some great bonuses first of all uh, for those new to trading view we have a video on the essentials of trading view it's a great way to learn the basics trading View has a lot of little uh, uh, help sections but this is the best way to learn what you need to know with trading view and then oh you're going to also get a video a short video you can see the 15 minutes on how to use NCS for trading view 
And then as I mentioned before, you have the ability to have abbreviations within NCS. This is a PDF. You can download it if you have all the abbreviations. And as a bonus, I'm going to go through these separately because they're really cool. These two here, you're going to get an overview of the candle patterns. All the candle signals within NCS, I made a short video uh, with a couple minutes each describing, just to refresh your memory, I'm sure many of you know what a doji is or bullish engulfing pattern, but many of you may not remember what a bull sash is or a bull separating line is. So this is a great way to refresh your knowledge or to gain new knowledge on some signals you may not be familiar with. So you're going to get that as a special bonus. That's normally $129 if we sold it, but we don't. We only only have we only have within this uh, package. And as a special bonus, you also have access to the best practices using NCS recordings. We've made a lot of recordings. For example, how I personally use NCS. A lot of tick uh, tick trips, tips and tricks. I've always had trouble saying that. Tips and tricks on using NCS. And what's great is as we make new best practices using NCS recordings, uh, or we do it live, we, do, we always do it live first and then make a recording, you're going to be invited to the live session, and even if you can't make it, it will be available as a video which you will have access to. And I love this uh, comment from Mark, he's a happy dude. And, and This is the, the reason I designed NCS, to help me first of all, and I wanted to make it a really easy tool for everybody to use. So as Mark says, I was quickly and ab easily able to implement uh, all of the features of NCS software. NCS saves time, who, uh, who would not like that, for quicker and timely analysis, potentially leading to better trades, fuel losses, and more profitability. And I, I made this in red because this is a great summary. A tool such as this that provides quick and accurate. Remember, you're getting this. There's other scanning on candlesticks out there, but this is the only one personally designed by me, so you know it's accurate. Uh, and accurate analysis is a trader's dream. So NCS, the trading view, will save hours of time. You're going to find my favorite candlestick signals. You're also going to find potential trading opportunities. There's no way you're going to be able to find without the power of NCS and trading view. And you're going to know which are market, which are valid. I can't see how many, can't tell you how many uh, times we get emails or um, you know uh, uh, comments from people who say, "Oh, how come this candle signal didn't work?" It's because it wasn't valid. It wasn't a good candlestick signal. Not that they always work, but at least you want to start with the basics of having a correct candlestick signals. So here is a link. Uh, if you have any questions, contact Paul. But for now. I'm going to be turning over to Paul. He's going to give you more specific details. He'll answer all your questions. And as he mentioned in the introduction, we have a special fast action, what we call founding owner bonus. So over to you, Paul. Very good, Steve. Thank you so much. I uh, just want to make sure my screen is up on the screen. There we go. Okay. So Steve did a great job of showing a lot of information about Nissan Candle Scanner on TradingView. I'm going to show you a couple of things just to give you an idea. And again, this would be a great time if you have any questions. Um, I see that uh, Steve put the link uh, up on the screen, so I put it in the chat. And I already see we have our first purchase. So congratulations. Um, we have somebody out there that obviously have an early adopter ready to get going. So that's awesome. Uh, stick around after my demo. I'm going to go over the offer uh, and this spe very special uh, offer that we've never done before. So this is Nissan Candle Scanner. As you can see, it's my indicator listed up here um, towards the top left of my chart. Uh, just so you have an idea of how it works, when you make the purchase, all we are going to need from you is your TradingView username not your email address, but your TradingView username. And if you're not sure where to find that, uh, your little icon up here, as you can see, I'm just hovering my mouse over my icon in the top left. I am logged in as Nissan Candle Scanner. So my username is Nissan Candle Scanner on this account. When you purchase it, all you're going to do is make sure that we have your TradingView username, which at the checkout, there's a little box for you to put that in if you already have one. If you don't have one yet, you're creating a TradingView account. No worries. 
um, you know, once you do get a trading view account, you get that to us and then there you go. So you will click on indicators and then over here, after you make the purchase, we're going to give you access to Nissan Candle Scanner in what TradingView calls an invite only script. Okay. So once you make the purchase, we have your username, we're going to grant you access. So all you would do is click on indicators, go to invite only script, you would see Nissan Candle Scanner, and that yellow star is I click that, it made it my favorites, it just means every time I open up a chart, it's going to be there. You don't need to make it a favorite, you could just click on the words Nissan Candle Scanner, and that'll get added to your chart as well. Okay, so it's really literally that simple to add on. Uh, we got a question from JP uh, using NCS bonuses. Are there already a collection of videos using NCS and TradingView? Yeah, Steve just showed you we have two videos there um, that are there to help you literally get going right now. But you're also going to be invited to the next um, sessions that we're going to be doing. Plus, Stick around with me, JP. There's a very special offer that you're really not going to want to miss. So it's that simple. Here's this in Candle Scare. As you note, I have on here the abbreviations. Okay. I do not have all the different candle patterns, but the minus W is a falling window. The minus E is a bearish engulfing. Um, and it's really that simple. I kept my chart clean. I only have Nissan Candle Scanner as an indicator. Okay, and I only have this one chart layout. I'm looking at a daily chart right now of Microsoft. So let me just show you by clicking here on the settings next to Nissan Candle Scanner, you're going to get the ability to, uh, and I see a bunch of questions. I'll get to those in just one second, okay? This is where Steve showed you before. We call it the data inputs where you can say yes, no, or strict on any of the 28 different candle patterns. And this will allow you to highlight whatever candle patterns you want on your chart. So this, because I have yes next to hammer, it will show me any hammers and boom, here's a hammer. If I say no to inverted hammer, it will not show me an inverted hammer even if it's on there. And if I sh picked strict, it would only show me if it was a strict criteria. So whatever patterns I put here, I would then be able to scan for them down here by choosing whatever markets I wanted. So for example, if I wanted to go into stocks and I wanna scan Netflix, for example, there it is. I click that and away we go. It's really that simple to set up a scan for Netflix on a daily chart, right? Because whatever the time frame of the chart is, that we're scanning will be the default. So if it says chart, that just means it'll default to whatever the chart is that I'm actually looking at. Uh, if you wanted to do different time frames, you can just, like Steve showed you, pick a different time frame that you want to scan for that specific market. So if I wanted to find whatever I picked here, the hammer, the bullish engulfing, the piercing and the bull sash and, and all the other things I put yes on, I can make a list of not just stocks, but I can pick, let's say I want a Forex pair. Let's say I want the US, the dollar yen. Well, right now I would scan on a daily chart again. The default would be daily and it would be for the dollar yen. It's really that simple. Now, once I do that, that's what I'm scanning for. Now all I'm gonna do is click here and add an alert. So this means right now, it's going to default to creating alert on Microsoft on a daily because this is the base chart that I'm using for. All I'm going to do here is on the alert name. I'm going to delete that and say test alert. I create that. And if I come over here to the alerts over here on the right hand side, I click on alerts and there it is. There's my test alert. Now nothing happened yet. If it did, it would show up here in the alert log, okay? And it's really that simple. So a couple of questions that just came in. Does it work on Bitcoin? Yes, it absolutely does. You do not need to find another data feed. TradingView will have multiple different data feeds for you. Sanjay's asking for people who already own MCS on another platform, is there an option to surrender and buy this one? Yes, so if you already own Candle Scanner, 
Nissan Candle Scanner on a different platform, whether it's Ninja Trader, Trade Station, Trade Navigator, just email me and I will send you your options. My email is paul at candlecharts.com. Okay. And you'll have some options that you can go with. Uh, Don, hey, Don, can you put in alerts for when a specific candle pattern prints? Absolutely. I think I just showed that. Um, you could pick whatever time frame you want, but it would have to be at the close of that candle pattern. Okay. So you can make it on a five minute chart, on a two minute chart, on a one minute chart, on whatever time frame that you want. So it would have to close. Done. Okay, I want to make sure that that's clear. I think that's what you're what you're asking before. So it would have to close. So you don't have to wait for a daily to be alerted. You could get alerted on a 15, on a five, on a whatever. Jenny's asking, what are the differences between the free version and the paid version? Jenny, I'm going to get into that in a minute. Okay. So that is it. It's really that simple. We're going to show you some examples in the different videos that we already have available for you uh, where you can have missing candle scanner you can add other indicators you can add other charts you can add other things uh, you can have more and more um, alerts and more scans and more whatever with the different paid versions of trading view okay so this is a what i call the ps template for paul for my initials but I also have a different layout that I saved for this. I call it the quad. I'm going to leave that for now. And I'll come back to that. But this is something I want to make sure that this is nice and clear. We have a premium account where you can have a lot of other things through TradingView. Okay. There is no restriction on what the candle patterns are. You can use Nissan Candle Scanner on the free version, but you can also upgrade. And now TradingView has three different levels of paid. They have Pro, Pro Plus, and Premium. And I'll explain real quick without giving you all the different numbers. Um, but with Premium, you have the capability of having different layouts. Okay, so you can have one chart by itself. You can have two, either vertical or horizontal. You can have three charts, four charts, five, all the way up to that. Now, for me, I want to cap it out at four. Now, that doesn't mean that that's what you need to do, but you certainly can. Notice what I have here on my quad. I have a 15-minute chart of Tesla. I have a daily chart of my XLK. I have a daily chart on the S&P and I have a 15 minute chart on the British pound US dollar. So you can have different time frames. Notice I have Nissan Candle Scanner on each one. Okay. So here's how TradingView works. If you do not already have a TradingView account, you can get one for free. Doesn't cost you anything. You literally just create a username, put your email in, create a password, and you're ready to get going. TradingView also does offer a free 30-day trial of their paid version, so you can do that at any time. I would recommend, with the purchase of Candle Scanner, to use whatever TradingView account you already have, obviously. If you don't have one, start out with the free version. Make sure that everything's up to date and working for you and that you and you see what you can do. And then you could always do the trial. And with our resources, we have a button, and I'll show that to you in a couple minutes, where you can actually get uh, a TradingView account right through our platform. So you don't have to go anywhere else. We made it nice and easy for you. And actually, let me just show you that right now. So when you make the purchase... The first thing that you would see when you go into your library at Candle Sharks Academy is to log in to or create your TradingView account here. So you just click this blue bar that says launch chart. If you already do have a TradingView account, it would take you right into it. If you don't have one, it would take you to the page to uh, create one. And if you do want to go for a paid account, we did set up a special deal with TradingView. When you click on that, they actually give you a discount on buying one of their trading view paid versions underneath that we have the two different videos to get you going on how to use the candle scanner on trading view and then like steve showed 
You have the quick reference guide for if you want to use the abbreviations. You have the 28 uh, candle pattern video that Steve talked about, and you have a new to chart uh, video that Steve did as well. Okay, so I just wanted to show that to you. Now, I'm going to go back just to keep things simple. I'm going to go back to my PS template. With, I just got a question with the paid version. So with the paid version, you can have more indicators. You can scan for more markets. You can have different chart layouts. And you can just do uh, a few extra things. If you click on that launch chart button from tr the inside the trading view area of Candle Charts Academy, it will actually show you what you get with each level of trading view. Okay. So I think I showed you with Nissan Candle Scanner where you can pick abbreviations. If you uncheck that, you would have the full name. You could pick yes, no, or strict on all 28 candle patterns. And then down below, you would be able to set up another alert based on 40 different market segments here. When I say market segments, realize each market on a time frame is a market segment. So for example, you want to scan for Apple on the daily chart. That's one data input. If you also wanted Apple on a 15 minute chart, that is a separate data input. Okay. But you can scan for all of these different candle patterns for all of those markets below. If you have a paid version of TradingView, you can do up to 16,000 data inputs. Okay. 16,000. I don't know if anybody needs 16,000 data inputs, um, but if you wanted to scan the S&P 500, on a daily chart, that would be 500 data inputs. So you could do the math. You could do multiple scans if you had the premium. Now the, the pro, the pro plus and the premium, they have different levels depending on what you really you're looking for on the free version. You get 40 data inputs. Okay. Meaning you get to fill out one of these. And then you could edit that. So if you don't like that one, you want to change something, you can always go back in and change it, but you can only have one at a time. Okay. Good question, Sam. Uh, let's see a couple other questions. How many previous days will it scan? Is there any restriction? So what you're going to do, Sanjay, is you're going to scan for that day. When you get your list here, all of the items for that alert would go into your alert log and then from the alert log you would actually be able to export that into a csv file so i've been playing around with this a lot of you know that i do the bouncing ball i have a scan set up just for hammers and every day i have that list get exported to a csv file where it says on this date these are the stocks that had a hammer on a daily chart okay uh Sam said, can you have multiple chart scans on free version? No. When you say multiple chart scans, Sam, you can scan 40 different data inputs on the free version. Okay. So if you wanted the 16,000 data inputs, you would need the premium. Daphne, can you scan a group of stocks or the entire S&P 500, NASDAQ 100? You can for two different things that you need to know, Daphne. Daphne's asking, can you scan the S&P 500? And absolutely you can. But with each scan, you can only scan 40 items at a time. You can save those so that you don't have to set them up more than one time. But you can go in and say, you know, here are 40 stocks. And then you do another one, here's 40 stocks. So if you want to do the S&P 500, you would need to make sure that you had one of the paid versions, right? I believe that the pro, the lowest paid version is pro. That will give you, I believe it is 800 data inputs that you can have. So that would obviously give you more than 500. And then you could also add on the NASDAQ 100 and things like that. So one other thing I want to just tell you about and how TradingView works, and this is important for you to know, if you make a change, if I change my settings, okay, let's say I want to 
just go from abbreviations to full name. I'm going to click OK, and then I want you to watch right here. You see that little eye moving? Eyes kind of rolling right there. What What is going on is that means that it's actually working for you. OK, it's going to take 10 to 12 seconds every time you make a change like that. And notice now I have my full name and the eye stopped rolling. This is going to happen for a couple of reasons. It has nothing to do with Nissan Candle Scanner. It's because TradingView works in the cloud. And what happens is when you make a change, the data has to go into the cloud, retrieve it, put it on here, and then it has to retrieve whether it's a candle pattern or not, and then print it on the screen for if it is a specific candle pattern. So there will be that delay. Um, and it just happens. It's 10 to 12 seconds, depending on what you're scanning for, how many scans and things of that nature. Okay. If there are other questions, please type those in. I'd be happy to answer those for you. So a couple of big time benefits. Like I said before, you can have this on any device as long as you have the internet. So you could put it on a, a Chromebook, a laptop, an iPad, a phone, a computer, laptop, you name it, it'll work on it. It works on any markets. And there are so many cool features on TradingView with alerts. And you can have a chat. And you can do all kinds of different things to get different ideas um, to be able to provide you with information. Uh, Jenny's asking, is the data live in each country of use for scanning? Yes. And you'll notice when I go to put a new chart in, notice I had Forex highlighted and I had Microsoft there. It's going to tell me Microsoft is not found in Forex. So if I went to stocks, there's Microsoft and it will tell you the data provider. Sam's question, will you see the notifications anywhere you log in? Yes. So as long as you log in to the same TradingView account. So if you set this up on your computer and you want to be alerted to whatever candle pattern is and whatever your list is, and then you go to your phone and you log into your phone TradingView, a trade, same TradingView account on your phone, yes, you will see the alerts be able to pop up on your phone or a noise or, or a email or whatever you'd like it to happen. Great questions. So you'll see here all of the different markets that you can get. Okay. Uh, Ferris's question, does a scanner consider the trading volume or needs manual input? Um, I'm not going to answer that question. If Steve, if you're still around, if you want to answer the, does a scanner consider the trading volume or if it needs manual input? I'm, does a scanner need? Uh, actually, I think it does. When we programmed, there was a minimum number of uh, shares that needed to be traded for it to be um, included in for NCS. So uh, yeah, Chris, I think, again, it's been a little while, but I think the feel, uh, I thought that because Technical analysis involves market psychology. You know, if you have something that's trading three shares, you're not really getting a gauge of that. So there is kind of a minimum volume. I don't remember what the number is, but I don't think we've ever had a market where we've reached that threshold. In other words, it's always been higher volume than the NCS uh, needed. Thank you, Steve. Okay, um, Linda's question is data real time? Yes. Daphne's asking, just to be clear, TradingView isn't like Market Analyzer Ninja. Right, correct, Daphne. It is does not have a Market Analyzer the way Ninja does. And I really don't want to get into that um, because they are two different platforms. And I know it will confuse people, Daphne. So if you have any questions on that, um, certainly email me. But yes, you would have to type in the 500 stocks if you want to scan the 500. But if you look, you have the ability to do um, different sectors, you can do USA stocks, you can do different things to narrow it down. Notice if when I just put Microsoft as a stock, I can get Microsoft in various countries and that will provide you with the data from that specific country to make sure that it's real time, okay? So if you get it, 
you know, if I live in the U.S. and I put it from a different country, there's probably going to be a delay. But if I pick it from the NASDAQ data feed, I will have it in real time. Daphne, getting back to your question, yes, you will have to add 500 one time. It would literally take you, I did it in about two and a half minutes, okay? So it can absolutely be done. It is a different mechanism than the market analyzer in, tra in uh, Ninja Trader, but it works. The functionality of Candlestater works the same. It's just a matter of how you get there. So just a different mechanism, if that makes sense. You got it, Daphne. Okay, so what I'd like to do now uh, is I'm going to go over the very special offer and then I will come back in and answer any other questions. So here's the link, candlecharts.com slash trading view. This is your opportunity to be literally among the very, very first to ever purchase this. We offer Candle Scanner in monthly, annual, and lifetime. For our grand opening celebration, we're actually providing you with lifetime at the price of an annual plan. So if you purchase this now, you use this coupon code right there, NCSTV for Nissan Candle Scanner Trading View, you would be able to get the lifetime instead of $12.95, you'll be able to get it for just $9.97. And we're actually going to give you, while we still have a few seats left, a seat to our upcoming small group coaching program starting on Tuesday. We have never done this before. By the way, I know we have some people in the room right now that have already signed up for small group coaching. If you already signed up for small group coaching and you want to purchase this, email me direct. I will get you credit for what you've already paid for the small group coaching. That way you can use it towards the purchase of lifetime. Okay, so we have a countdown timer of one as of me talking right now, one day, one hour, 12 minutes, and six seconds. Now, the small group coaching very well could be filled up before that one day, one hour. When you come place the order, if this is still here on that page, in addition to getting lifetime for the price of annual, you would also get our small group coaching program, which is a five session program all interactive where we will absolutely be using candle scanner and absolutely be using this new version on trading view where we have interactive discussion i see a bunch of questions about your specific accounts and everything like that please email me paul at candlecharts.com to talk about it um, now you can certainly sign up for the monthly plan this would be a recurring monthly plan, $249 per month. You can certainly sign up for annual at $997, but there's absolutely no reason to do that when you can get a lifetime for that same price. So remember, all you would do, go to candlecharts.com slash trading view, click on get started now in the lifetime area. At checkout, make sure you use NCSTV and you'll get lifetime at $997. And if you do it quickly enough, like I said, there's very limited seats left in our small group coaching program. Uh, Darren's asking, will you have, oh yeah, the small group coaching program are live sessions all recorded. You'd have access to be able to do both, to attend live and to be able to have access to those recordings. Absolutely, Darren. Um, Lee, and I said this earlier, Anybody who already has Candle Scanner on a different platform and you're interested in TradingView, email me direct, paul at candlecharts.com, and I'll provide you with your options of what you can do, okay? So again, I'll put the link in just like a bunch of people asking for it. Candlecharts.com slash TradingView. That will take you directly to this page. And like I said, we are going to offer you lifetime for the price of annual. That will expire tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Tomorrow meaning Thursday, September 7th. 
and we will offer the receipt in small group coaching, which starts on September 12th. This is a $300 value that we're just giving to you as a bonus because we want you to get the most out of using this software and see our team using this in interactive sessions where you would actually have the ability to discuss questions, not just about candle scanner, but about trading and using our powerful tools. Uh, Rong's question, so you're saying that you can scan a watch list for each candle signal as they come up on the chart. Yep, as long as it closes on that candle pattern. So if you wanted to scan for five minute charts, Ron, and you wanna say, hey, here's my watch list, here are the candle patterns I wanna watch for, yes, you'll be able to scan for those and you could be alerted to them. Are there any strategy sessions included with the scanner? Darren, it's exactly what we're talking about in small group coaching, okay? So if you're interested, jump on board. Uh, the small group coaching starts on Tuesday, September 12th. There will be four consecutive Tuesdays. I believe it is 7 p.m. Eastern time. Let me just double check that. And then we also have a one Saturday session. So it's four Tuesdays and one Saturday. Yes, yeah, so the four Tuesdays are 7 p.m. Eastern time. The Saturday session is September 16th at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Okay, I think I answered all the questions that people have put in so far. If you have a question that I have not answered yet, please put that in. I see, a, I see some orders coming in, that's fantastic. So the way it's gonna work is at the order, you're going to place obviously your, your name and email and your payment information. And then there's a box, if you already have a TradingView account name, a username, put that in that box and we'll be able to give you immediate access. If you don't have a TradingView account yet, like I said, at purchase, um, you'll be able to go into Candletarks Academy and click on that box. And from there, you'll be able to open up a TradingView account. Um, and that would be for either the free or any of the paid versions. So remember, yes, you can start out with the monthly plan if you'd like. You can certainly go with the annual if you, if you really wanted to, but I'm gonna strongly suggest that you don't go on the annual plan because we're offering lifetime at the price of annual. And again, as of right now, if you go with a lifetime plan, you will also get a seat into our small group coaching program where we will be discussing strategies and trading tactics. Um, so you're gonna wanna be part of that if you possibly can. For everybody who has another question uh, regarding your specific situation, if you already have Candle Scanner on a different platform, you wanna add this on, email me paul at candlecharts.com and i'd be happy to help you out with that if there are any other questions i'd be happy to do so uh at this point i'd like to thank steve so much for not only for tonight's session but for all of his hard work and dedication to getting the software uh capable of being used by people around the globe so we're really excited about it and we want to i want to congratulate those of you that have just made the purchase i see purchases coming in right now you will have access today. If you made, just made the purchase, you will have access here uh, within moments. We're very excited to get this into the hands uh, of you. Thank you so much. And give me one moment. Here we go. So again, you can click any of those. I'm gonna put the link in here one more time.
by clicking on that link, it'll take you to this page. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the other information as well that comes with it, uh, the bonuses, uh, everything that it can do. This button here, again, will give you the capability uh, to open up a TradingView account, some screenshots, and some great testimonials. Sam, yes, with the free version, you can have up to 40 data inputs. So you can have, for example, 20 hourly and 20 daily um, on different stocks and things like that. So I want to thank you so much. Uh, the link again, candlecharts.com slash trading view. Uh, nice and simple to get to. And I'm going to...